For Nigeria to build a resilient economy to withstand external shocks as experienced during the global pandemic has been emphasized at this meeting of bankers. The creation of a global finance hub, which is aimed at creating opportunities locally and internationally, has been announced by the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, who says the infrastructure company will raise $15 billion when unveiled in October. Your Central Bank of Nigeria will, in the next 12 months, be establishing the Nigerian International Financial Center, NIFC. The NIFC will act as an international gateway for capital and investment driven by technology, payment system infrastructure. This new financial hub will curate local and international banks to make them global champions. The NIFC will be a 24-7 financial center that will complement London, New York, and Singapore financial centers and enable an acceleration of our homegrown initiatives such as the infra PLC. At the beginning of the pandemic, the African continent was predicted to be the hardest hit due to its weak health systems. But now, despite having the lowest vaccination rate in the world, the continent has not been battered. Leaders say the pandemic presents an opportunity as the continent is blessed with enough resources to handle challenges moving forward. I commend the financial services industry for its interventions and contributions towards the promotion of financial inclusion and literacy in our country. And more importantly, the roles played by the banks in fostering economic growth of the country. Much as the pandemic has caused unprecedented disruption, it has also triggered new opportunities which have helped to reshape the economy in the areas of digital transformation, trans-African trade, security, workforce of the future, pharmaceutical, manufacturing, processing supply, and logistics. The COVID pandemic has affected every aspect of our economies, but the pandemic also presents an opportunity for Africa's banks to play a leading role in making our societies more resilient and more responsive to the needs of our people. Whatever affects business affects banking. Financial services are the engine of private sector development. Banks are crucial for allocating their capital wisely and productively. The 14th Chartered Institute of Banking Conference with the theme Economic Recovery, Inclusion and Transformation, the role of banking and finance is aimed at delivering economic recovery opportunities for Nigeria. Despite the obvious challenges faced by the economy, there are inherent opportunities to unleash the potential of our country and the entire continent of Africa. The CIBN is poised to develop its members' competencies through this program and contribute to the growth and sustainability of our economy. As a conscience of the industry, we are pressed to uphold ethics and professionalism in the financial services industry. As the country aims for a 15% inflation rate and an annual GDP growth rate of between 2.5 and 3% at the end of the year, Nigerians are hopeful that the resolutions reached here will be far-reaching to reduce the poverty rate in the country. Amaka Uday, Arise News.